Hello everyone, welcome back to video tutorials on programming Cortex M3 microcontroller LPC1768 using Keel Microvision 5 IDE tool. In this video tutorial, we shall go through how to interface stepper motor with LPC1768 microcontroller board and also how to control its direction of rotation. Now, let us look into interfacing diagram of stepper motor with microcontroller. We have to note that stepper motor cannot be connected directly to microcontroller because the signal at the I.O. pin of microcontroller will not be strong enough to cause the motor to rotate. So we make use of an intermediate component called as motor driver. The IC here in this picture corresponds to motor driver ok so as we can see we make use of four IO pins of microcontroller which are used for powering four coils of stepper motor port 1 pins 22 23 24 and 25 are used over here ok next we shall go through interfacing details where stepper motor coils are named as A, B, C and D and these are connected to port 1 pins 22, 23, 24 and 25 respectively. Also you all note that if we set port 1 pins 22, 23, 24 and then 25 the stepper motor rotates in counterclockwise direction. That is if we power the coils in the order first A then B then coil C and at last D then the, the stepper motor rotates in counterclockwise direction ok and if we set the port 1 pin 25 then 24 23 and then 22 the stepper motor rotates in clockwise direction that is if the coils are powered in the sequence first D then C then B and finally A then the stepper motor rotates in clockwise direction ok so note this with this knowledge let's move on and open Keel Microvision 5 software and let me close the existing project first next we shall create a new project for this click on project new microvision project i will create a new folder inside the folder demo which is available on desktop i will name this folder as stepper motor inside this folder I will create a project with the name step. Next expand NXP then LPC1700 series then LPC1766 and select LPC1768 and press OK. Next expand CMSIS tick core and then expand device Tick startup and click OK. We can see that new project step is created inside the folder stepper motor, which is inside the folder demo, which is available on desktop. Okay. Then I will select a new file where we need to type our program. I will paste the program for interfacing stepper motor over here. Once pasting the program, I will click save. I will save it with the name step.c. Now we need to add our file to the source group. For that, right click on source group, then select add existing files to group. So double click on the file step.c or select step.c and click add and then click close. Now 
if we expand source group we can find our file step.c being added next we shall build the target So we can find zero errors and zero warnings. Next, we shall analyze the program for interfacing stepper motor with microcontroller. First, we include standard header file lpc17xx.h. Then we have delay function within which we have two for loops. Then we have main function wherein we are declaring a variable del del of type integer and assigning a value 50 to it then we configure four pins that is 22nd 23rd 24th and 25th pins of port 1 as input pins using the instruction fio dir then we have while of one statement within while of one statement we have if condition which checks if first input press key is pressed if it is pressed inside a for loop we are going to set the port 1 pins in the order 25th 24th 23rd and finally 22nd with intermediate delays by invoking delay functions this will cause the stepper motor to rotate in clockwise direction okay Then we have an instruction to check whether second input press key is pressed. And if it is pressed, then we need to come out of the for loop or stop setting the pins. And this is done by making use of break instruction. Okay. Then within for loop, we are going to set the port 1 pins in the order 22nd, 23rd, 24th and 25th pin with intermediate delay again by invoking delay function. This will cause the stepper motor to rotate in counterclockwise direction. Then again we have if statement which checks whether first input press key is pressed. If the first input press key is pressed then it comes out of the for loop because of break instruction and stepper motor rotates in clockwise direction. Now we shall implement the code for that first we need to create X file. So right click on target, output, tick create X file and then select linker and tick use memory layout from target dialog and click OK. Then build or rebuild the target. we can see creating X file which indicates X file is being created. Now we shall connect kit to our system and open flash magic software. We need to know to which port our kit is connected. In my case, it is connected to COM5. So COM5 is already selected. So next, I click Browse. We need to browse for our X file. It will be inside the folder Demo. Inside this, the folder Stepper Motor. And inside this, in the folder Objects, we can see our X file Step.x. So select it and open then click start once programming is finished we can observe output 
we have input push buttons over here and I have connected stepper motor to the kit. Now if I press first input key we can observe here stepper motor rotates in clockwise direction. Next if I press second input key observe that the stepper motor rotates in counter clockwise direction. Pressing third input key has no effect, right? So you can observe it. If I press first input key, the stepper motor rotates in clockwise direction. So the coils are powered in the sequence D, C, B and A. And if I press second input key, then the stepper motor rotates in counterclockwise direction. So wherein we are powering the coils in the order a, B, C and then D. Okay. So next we have results and observations. So firstly we have successfully interfaced stepper motor with LPC1768 board and secondly we controlled the direction of rotation of stepper motor using two input push keys. Right. So that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed and learned from all these video tutorials on programming Cortex M3 microcontroller LPC1768 using Keel Microvision 5 IDE tool. We shall meet soon with a new lecture series. Till then, take care and goodbye.